Alright, so today was a very awesome day. I went to the, in uh, Frankfurt, Illinois, the, at the, one of the Home Depots, they were having the Black Friday uh, sale over there for some of the products. N not everything is out. This is the uh, one of the kits that is available at that Home Depot and I bought it. I've, you might be able to buy this online. So I've been aching all day to unbox this because I was at work. Let's get right to it. This is a four. Uh, this is a four-piece kit. Uh, this come. This is a model P one eight one. P one eight one eight. It comes with a reciprocating saw, a drill, impact, and a flashlight, and a, uh, two batteries, a charger, and a bag. So let's get right into this and uh, unbox this. All right. So let's see what this comes with. All right, so, so I was wondering how they got this in here as compact as it is, and that's how. It's a very well-placed uh, and designed box to where everything fits nice and snug. So the first thing you get in this kit is, let's whip out the drill. Yep, just as I thought. Oh, my pet peeve is it just but all right. So just as I thought, the drill, the drill looks good. It looks really good. It is brushed. All right, we're gonna whip a battery in there. Ugh. We're gonna put a battery in there and see what it sounds like. Sounds it, it is brushed. See the spark in there? All right, now the the chuck, as I thought, is black. The chuck is a 23-point chuck. Uh, it goes, there is no drill setting. It, 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 no, there is a, sorry, there is a drill setting, but you have to click it in and uh, move the chuck all the way to click it in a drill. So there's two, uh, speed one and two, which it, it does not look... Uh, the chuck is plastic. It is a plastic chuck. It does not look bad at all. It, the design is actually really good. I like the design. So that is the first thing you get in this kit. So we are going to visually compare some of this to the tools to the brushless tools this, uh, and other, or other tools that I, I have in my arsenal to see if they're somewhat similar. All right, so, and then to continue this, this is next. Next, we have the impact. Ooh, that actually, wow, that is, that's beefier than I thought it would be. That is beefier than I thought it would be. That feels good in the hand. All right, so what, all right, I understand what this is. I understand completely what this is. What they did is they uh, they implemented the old school uh, old school tools with the new school technology that isn't brushless with the new design of what they do. Now this impact looks extremely cool. This does the it's this impact does look cool. It now because I thought this was going to be like like this impact. I thought it was gonna be like this one, but this it actually looks extremely cool. the The top is the top of it is pretty much flat, and so like it, the the I'm glad I got this kit. This looks extremely cool. Let's put a battery in it. Let's see what it sounds like. That sounds fast. Forward reverse, just like normal. I like that. I like the way that looks. I like the way that looks. And it just like what most brands can't do, Ryobi is pretty much the only one that can do this. You could put the tool down on its base and it won't fall over. All right, all right. When it comes to, I'm not gonna judge this 
based on what's already made. I'm going to judge this based on what it is. Now, these two tools so far look pretty cool. They do. Uh, this impact looks amazing. I love the way that this impact looks. I love the black, the black look. The yellow, uh, the, sorry, the green, gray, and black. That looks slick. I like that. All right, so we're going to move on. Next we get... Next we have the charger, which is the P118B charger. So, it's just funny. I just destroyed one of these and now it's recovered. So, I'm good. <laughs> You'll see in the video that I upload soon. All right, we get the, the charger. We get, this is now, we get a four amp hour black battery. Now this is my first 4 amp hour black battery. I do not own a black one. And now I do. My first time holding it. And it's uh, battery is at half. We are going to put that on charge. Very good. Very good. I wonder if there is a power difference. Now, like there's got to be a reason why it is 72 watt. Let's see what the gray one is. Let me get a gray one. Let's see if it's the same wattage. My first time being able to compare these two, these two together. Oh, the gray the gray one is P108. The black one is P197. It's yeah, just a different color, which I I like that. I I, I like that look. I like that. Now I got a black I got a black battery, which is awesome. All right, but we are not done yet, ladies and gentlemen. Next, ooh, oh, all right, so then you get the bag. I thought the reciprocating cell would be in the bag. You get the bag, which is very nice. It's big. It is a big bag. Very good. Next, you get the flashlight. This, uh, this flashlight is not... Uh, is not special. It is not special at all. You get this flashlight uh, for twenty four dollars by itself over uh, by the tool section in the light area. So yeah, I think it's uh, yep, just uh, regular the the updated LED flashlight. It's uh, nothing special. You can get that for twenty four bucks by itself. All right, next you get a one point five amp hour battery. Get a 1.5, not too shabby. So, very good. I gotta put both of these on charge before I go to bed. Of course you get instructions. Oops, some stuff fell. All right, of course you get the instructions, warranty. Warranty, you get a uh, reciprocating saw blade. And of course, the probably the item that attracted the people the most is the reciprocating saw. Alright, so here's the saw. Alright, that's actually beefier than I thought it would be. Okay, there's a lock and an unlock. Unlock for unlocking that. That's funny, that smells exactly like the other saw too. Like the, the brushless version. Now let's put a battery in and let's see what it sounds like. Wow. Very good. It, it feels beefy in your hand. But you do feel, I'm not sure I haven't felt it in a while, which we're going to test that out right now. I got it right here. I got it right here. I got the brushless. Let's see if, if it... Yeah. After doing that, after a little while. That size comparison a little bit. It's a little smaller. It's a little smaller.
All right, but this this does vibrate. This does vibrate a lot compared to the brushless saw. I I, I haven't uh, used uh, non brushless reciprocating saw in a while. Those might uh, those might vibrate too. But yeah, I haven't felt that's a that's a strong vibration that that happens. So that's pretty much it for the unboxing. All right, so first let's talk about the drill. All right, so this drill is a half-inch two-speed drill driver. 18-volt battery, half-inch chuck. Uh, the RPMs on the first setting is 0 to 450, and on the second setting, it is 0 to 1,750 RPMs a minute. And the total weight of this is 2.65 pounds. All right, but overall, I, I like the design. I'm so glad that if they were, if they were gonna do, uh, do this, like re uh, vamp their uh, the brush tools, at least they made it in this design. So I, I like that they did that because now the the like instead of having just like the old grip, the the little vents back here, then the, uh, this looks so much better. It does. You know, it's a hat. It's a a small magnet tray, which you guys know me. That's my pet peeve. I wish it was a full magnet tray because you have the wide base. Might as well put the full magnet on. So that that is that. All right. Next, we are gonna do the impact. All right. So this impact is a, of course, an 18 volt battery. It is a quarter inch chuck coupler. It is a, it, so it, this is a quarter inch coupler chuck. All right, so the RPM is 0 to 2,800 per minute. The impacts per minute is 0, 0 to 3,200. And the torque is 1,600 pounds inch of torque. And the total weight of this tool is 2.65 pounds. So it's the same, same weight as the drill. It is the same weight. So, but my... Now, the design... I, I, I'm surprised about this design. I'm 100% surprised. I thought it was not gonna look like this. It looks, it looks, it seriously looks cool. Like I said, I thought it was gonna look like an upgraded version of this. Just like pretty much the same, exact same, the exact same thing, but just with this grip. But they actually changed a lot. Like the flat of, like the top of this now is flat. It's a lot flatter. I like it. I like this design i'm actually going to thud i might make this my new main impact i like that i like that all right this flashlight is 18 volt system of course but the 160 lumens and the total weight of this is 0.55 pounds now i use this flashlight all the time at work uh, so I bought some for work and we use it to walk back and forth to where we got to go and it seriously is a very bright light I am glad I got another one uh, You know, it's I don't need one, but you can never use enough flashlights. So I'm glad I got it It's an it's the seriously is a bright light and I'm glad I have another one So now I have two I have I have personally own two of these and one older one you know, and I did place the inside of this with the, with an LED. So I'm glad I got I'm glad I got one more light. Fantastic. All right, and the re, the reciprocating saw. This thing, it, it, I'm not gonna lie, it looks it looks pretty weird. You know, not weird but awkward. I'm just surprised that they decided to go with the flat look like this all the way around. You know, like, the, the top part looks cool. Only part that doesn't look cool is right here. I think that instead of this being round, they should have, like, just done, like, sh uh, sharp corners. Just to give it that look, to, you know, like, just to make it look like the base right here. You know, instead of this being, like, a, just a round, uh, round curve. But, uh, but yeah... There you go. So yeah, you have the four amp hour battery, the black. Like I said, I think that for this, uh, I think they're going to push the heck out of the black four amp hour batteries during Black Friday.
I think they're gonna push these like crazy. And then the 1.5 amp hour battery, so let's actually just put those on charge. Let those charge up. I, so that's the unboxing of the P1818, and I do have some announcements to make uh, for the channel. One, I am starting to get my blue Ryobi tools, which I, we're going to do, uh, I'm going to go to some like Goodwill and find some kits, see if I can get them for cheap, and we're going to do some comparative videos uh, for the blue line versus green line. That's going to start soon. The first video that we're going to do is the 14.4 volt versus the new 12 volt. We're going to see which one of these wins. I'm actually seriously curious, but I do have to get order a battery, so I'm going to order a battery of 14.4 volt, but those type of videos are coming up. You know, they're coming out with a brand new lawnmower, they're coming out with a 13 inch one plus lawnmower for people that don't have big yards. Pretty much it. This is the unboxing video of the one of the 2019 uh, Black Friday four-piece kit, model number P1818, and that's pretty much it. So this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.